Welcome back. Well, this morning I'm joined by Paul Olson from the Great Lakes Recovery Center. Now, Paul, you're here to talk to us this morning about an addiction that I think about is a very important topic, but not one that's commonly in the forefront, and that's codependence. Now, for people who maybe don't know exactly what that is, what is codependence addiction? Codependence really is a matter of supporting or enabling another person's poor mental health, addiction, or underachieving. Okay. Now, so you, you were telling me that it's important not only for someone to realize they may have codependence, but for family members or people around them, they might be enabling them, you said? It is the case that sometimes when a person has poor mental health, they have an addiction issue, they might have somebody who is enabling them. It's making it easier for them to practice their addiction, their covering for them, um, it might be just covering for them in school, covering for them at work, covering for their loss of jobs, covering for underachievement that they might be experiencing. Um, they it even gets as extreme as bailing people out of wow. jail multiple times. Um, and it really is a matter of, we, we, love, we love our family members, right. we have people we love and, and you know, we support them. And if we had somebody in our family go to jail, mm -hmm. you know, of course we'd want to bail them out. We want to help them out. We want to make sure that they're safe. We don't want that to happen to them. But then it becomes a question of how many times does a person do right. that? If the other person has an addiction, that they have mental health issues that they're not dealing with, you know, you'd bail out your son or your daughter yeah. out of jail once, but would you do it five times. Right. So it's really a matter of degree because sometimes people wonder, well, isn't it good for us to protect mm -hmm. the people we love? And, and yeah, it is, but it's a matter of this is a, when a person winds up taking things too far. Okay, so then you were kind of telling me it's, it's almost that issue of loving a little bit too much or, or being too involved. Okay. And um, now for people maybe who, who aren't aware that they have it or a loved one has it, what are some kind of signs that you could, you could see in someone's behavior maybe? Well, some of the signs is if, a, if your identity is really based on what's going on with other people, if your identity is really based on another person, then that's a sign that that might be trouble. It's really hard to find, mm -hmm. to identify it. It's a matter of, you know, a person has to ask themselves, am I doing the right thing? Am I protecting a person who I care about? Um, they talk about things like tough love, but right. it really is a matter of, am I, am I doing the right thing? Am I going too far? It's a matter of degree, and it really makes it a very tricky thing for families and for the community to deal with because there isn't really a very clear-cut symptoms of okay. it. All right, so this is kind of one of those topics that you probably would need to speak with a professional like yourself about, and you were telling me there are ways people can get help if they think maybe they're suffering from it or know somebody is, and uh, I think we have those uh, we can pull up on the screen. So uh, what, what are some of those ways that can, so, people can get help? There are some numbers for the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Al-Anon, Al-Anon is an organization that helps people who are dealing with someone else's addiction. If someone else's drug or alcohol use is affecting their lives, they can contact Al-Anon. And then Great Lakes Recovery Centers, um, people need support. Mm -hmm. People who are dealing with a loved one who has addiction, is they definitely need support sometimes. They can call us for mental health or substance abuse counseling. All right, so uh, Paul, I wanna thank you for coming in. And of course, a very important topic. And I think, like you're saying, the important part, start that conversation, kind of get involved and figure out what's going on. I really appreciate that you did this, put this on the air, because it is a matter of people don't really see this on a daily basis. Right. It's not really something that, I, that will wind up putting a person into counseling. So people have to know about this and they need to kind of s check themselves for whether or not they're engaging in these behaviors. So right, I appreciate well, it. Yeah, thanks a lot, Paul. And of course, I'm in contact. Paul, go over to the Great Lakes Recovery Center. We had those numbers for you on the screen. Again, Paul, thanks for coming in. Very important topic and uh, get some people help out there, of course. Thank you very much.